Nekuča, dam simre razgamova tanka. Hi, this is Olivia. I am an Indonesian traveler. Here in this video, I want to show you my wine tasting trip in Georgia in late 2022. Before traveling to Georgia, I didn't know that the country produced a good wine. In fact, Georgia is the oldest wine producing regions in the world. I was so excited to understand better how wine is produced traditionally in Kakiti area. Kakiti is one of eight regions in Georgia that produce unique wine. We started the journey by visiting traditional bread makers in the countryside of Tbilisi, the capital. The shorty bread is thick in cylindrical oven and hung upside down to reach the lowest baking position. It's just so unique. Also so good when mixed with fresh tomato right from the garden. During this trip, we were dragged to check Signagi town with their unique Georgian Orthodox Church and the beauty of its old city wall and brick gates. the town from the top of the church is just so beautiful. During the trip, we were also presented with two ways of making wine in Georgia. The traditional one, or Georgian's hallmark, is white wines that stay in contact with their skin, stalks, and pips for months, and further ferment in huge clay jars. It's called kefirfi, <laughs> buried in the ground. Wine cellar in Georgia winery is also so unique and most are very old. It shows how strong the winery tradition in Georgia is. For me, Georgian wine has distinctive smells and fruity and fresh. I like it so far. We tasted too many wines during the trip and that by the end of the trip, some of us were already too drunk. Despite all the explanations from the tour guide, I still couldn't find a difference out of all wines he explained. Excuse me, but I just love the sweet white wine. Simple as that. That's it for my winery trip in Georgia. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye!